Disney Star Wars had already ruined the surprise, not that it ever really was a surprise or a secret, that Anakin Skywalker would be making his return, that Hayden Christensen would in some way, shape, or form be involved in the Ahsoka series. They put it out there. There were leaks. There were rumors all about that. And they also verified it by saying it on an Amazon post that they made for merchandise for the Ahsoka series. But now they have decided, Disney Star Wars has decided that they really need Anakin to try to sell this show. Like I've said for a very long time, when it comes to Dave Filoni's approach to these characters, there's going to be a lot of member berries. There's going to be a lot of jangling keys. And above all, it's to make sure you understand that Ahsoka Tano, in his mind, is the most important character in Star Wars history. And we just got a new trailer for the Ahsoka series that a lot of people are talking about right now. Ahsoka just brought back Hayden Christensen's Anakin Skywalker in new trailer. And even though people knew that this was going to be happening, there's a lot of excitement surrounding this. As much as many times have people been fooled time after time with Disney Star Wars, it will not stop them from getting excited for Hayden Christensen and for Anakin Skywalker. It's almost like people are very quick to forget that there was a lot of hype and buildup and people were so fucking excited to see Hayden return in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And that ended up being a complete horrific disaster. Yet somehow, I don't know if they got a neuralizer for Men in Black, but a lot of people seem to have forgotten about that and are back to that same level of hype for this trailer. From Star Wars on Twitter, on X, whatever you want to call it, in 10 days, a new Jedi will rise. The two-episode series premiere of Ahsoka, a Star Wars original, arrives August 23rd. And I think it's smart for them to do two episodes, just like they did Andor, I think was two or three. I think he even saw two for Obi-Wan because they want to get those streaming numbers up. If we debut two episodes that are an hour and a half long, we'll get better streaming numbers and maybe we'll be higher on the Nielsen charts. We understand why they're doing this, but here it is. This entire thing is basically about Anakin. Everyone in the Order knew Anakin Skywalker. Few would live to see what he became. By the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him and the Jedi. In this war, you will face more than just droids. As your master, it's my responsibility to prepare you. I won't always be there to look out for you. I could use the help. Once a rebel, always a rebel. Don't be afraid. And trust your instincts. I know you can do this, Ahsoka. That entire thing almost not only was about Anakin, but was voiced over by Hayden Christensen, acknowledging that he will be returning in some form or fashion in this, whether it's a flashback, whether it's an alternate view of what could have happened, like has been reported time after time. And now this, just to make it clear, this is what we saw in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. For some reason, you know, he did look a little bit old. They tried to do it with makeup, but he did obviously look like he's the age he currently is, not the age he was in Attack of the Clones. But nevertheless, this has been enough to get a lot of people talking about the Ahsoka series, about Anakin's return, and getting hyped, hyped, hyped. As I've said multiple times, this is what was going to happen with this. Dave Filoni is the king of cameos. And Mandalorian Season 2, I know a lot of people have good feelings and good thoughts about Mando Season 2, but I don't think it has any rewatchability for the very reason that it's all flash, it's all member berries, it's all jangling keys, and all cameo of the week. Hey, remember this character you care about? Remember this character you care about? instead of any actual substance. That has been a problem with the Mandoverse, and it's starting to collapse in on itself, as we saw with Mandalorian Season 3. My expectation, as I've said for months, is that the general public is going to go crazy for what they see in Ahsoka, and they're going to happen to ignore all of the problems that are very likely to be there in terms of the substance of the story. Just to reread that entire thing from Anakin to Ahsoka, in this war, you'll face more than just droids. As your master, it's my responsibility to prepare you. Don't be afraid. You can do this, Ahsoka. All right? So uh, for a lot of people were surprised to hear Hayden in that voiceover. I was surprised to hear so much of it. I thought they were going to try to save that. But obviously, they really think that they want to get that out there and make people understand that Anakin will be a part of this Ahsoka series in some way, shape, or form. We'll see. It debuts in a couple of weeks. There's certainly some people, even if they've been burned time after time by Disney Star Wars and even by Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau, they are still 
willing to give this a chance because of how much they love Hayden Christensen and they love Anakin Skywalker.